Retro Rides 2023 Part 2. This thing's just insane. Look at this. <laughs> Seven race restoration. Yeah, and it's a really comfortable seat too. <laughs> you definitely won't want to get out of this side either. No. Got a feeling they might get a bit uh, warm. <laughs> I've seen it sleeker quite a few times. I really like like how he's done the player specs on the front and I think it's a pretty car. Cool. Very good. Why are you changing your wheel nuts? Oh, it's the black ones. It's a lot nicer. Oh, yeah. So, a very nice M3 we saw on the way in. But I'm going to make a beeline over to this Quattro over here. It's a little bit insane. Very nice. And then down on bags. You see a lot of that here, don't you? Cars on bags. Yeah. It's very, very clean. See if we can get over to this race car over here. Proper race car. <laughs> I get you these little side windows. What do you think? That's what you call a stripped-out interior. And then the little wing on the back. I've seen this before. This is quite a cool wrap as well, isn't it? Yeah. That's the 924 we saw on the way in. Oh, you've seen this Escort over here. Full on rally lights. Carbon bonnet. Just one or two. These new uh, aero wheel things. That's unusual. What makes you think it's low? This is what I need for the van. I'll have to tell them, yeah? yeah. Company van. I've got to get this so you can get in now. Just. <laughs> I don't have to like hover from the sea. She's got all his plates around it. Yeah, it's a little bit low. I've got to say, it's a bit of a disappointment this year because it's definitely not as busy as it was when I came last year or the year before. I mean, I came on a Saturday. Obviously, it's a Sunday today, but still, it's only half the amount of cars. There's some lovely cars, you don't get me. Two cars with a With a what? Two cars oh. with a neighbor. Well. And then you've got the Datsun Club. Old Sunny. It's in a Sunny for a long time. Two Sunnies. It's nice. 260, I think. I wanted to look at this though. We saw this on the way and we said we were going to have a look at it. a little bit insane isn't it oh look big white writing in the front that's on red yeah oh I met this guy it's a Portsmouth show we went to yeah okay so I'm just wondering if this is the car that I saw on um, a YouTube short the other day about what it says on the side of the car and it's in translator it said something Japanese or something like that let's have a quick look see if we can work out what it says can we figure out what Japanese stands for? It was, if it's something that I saw the other day which is what I was looking at it was on a YouTube thing I think it's Fujiwara Toki from Initial D so yeah however somebody had one of these wrapped recently yeah the actual what it said on the door was something in Japanese Oh, really? Yeah, because he asked the guy to wrap the car for him and he went, what do you want me to put on the door? He went, oh, he, he said, it's, just put something in Japanese, something simple. And it said, something in Japanese, something simple. 
Unless I was just trying to see if I could find out and it didn't come up on mine. GTR next to a BX GT. Okay. Oh no, we know whose this car is. It's a very nice Rover. And next to what he says is his race van. He does race it. Brilliant, thank you very much, John from Mark Carl Salon. We'll be speaking nice to you. Nice Rocco. Don't worry, Midwires, oh so retro. Another three door oh, Mark I Cosy. Super clean and white. Or Citroen BX. Yeah, I definitely have no idea what that is. If anyone knows what it is, please tell me in the comments because I really have no idea apart from it being a Woody. It didn't give me a woody, I meant it's got wood on it. An old pop next to a Mark 1 Capri. I couldn't own a classic car. Oh, Jesus, look at that Buick. Okay. Look at that thing. You've got to love. The size of these cars, you look at the interior, it doesn't look that big. You look at the size of the boot, you can fit like four people in it. <laughs> Obviously, the amount of guns in America, you must be able to uh, dispose of a body easily. <laughs> nice RX-7. Okay, tell me what's wrong, spot the difference. <laughs> what's not right here? Something doesn't belong. See, I love these Evos, to the point you go, not only do they look nuts from the front, but the rear spoilers on these things are stock. It's not exactly uh, a baby spoiler, is it? For a stock car. They were mental all over. And then, when you think that's a four-door rally car... RCRX. Next to another Super Sport. So you can tell it's retro. That's the second pair of Venoms that I've seen. I've not seen a set of Venoms for years on the car. 944. Yeah, no, it was a person with his, uh, what do you call it? Scooter thing. See, look at the difference in size of cars that they used to produce. This ginormous bloody American, what is it? Ford. Well, a Ford I've ever seen, or is it Grand Torino? Oh, all of the like the aircon is in the centre console. Oh yeah. That's an unusual car. Fury's quite cool next to it as well. Again, it's just a, a ginormous car, isn't it? Yeah. Proper American bench seat jobby. It's like about the front of them, they just look evil though. Oh, low rider's coming back through. I'm guessing that they've decided that he deserves a better space. Another three, 300. Check out this plastic bends. I was just saying it's got a metal flake holographic roof and really cool steels okay so this guy used to be a neighbor of mine we met him last year i believe it was also at retro rides and um so this lovely f100 is actually a 370z underneath the skin but since i saw him last it's been turboed He's definitely done a hell of a lot of work to it since I last saw it. I bet it sounds absolutely insane. I think this is the low rider section over here, but we are going to check out this Japanese import, see what they do with the bonnets and make them like a droop sleeve at the front. Yeah. They're really, really, really crazy cars that they do over there. This is very dusty as well. A lot of very dusty cars. I bet they're from yesterday. Yeah. G40 Polo next to it, and then an R5 GT Turbo. It's a nice lineup. It's still 
loads of epic cars coming in. But look at the V dub. He just went whoop, whoop, whoop. GT 350 Mustang next to a Mac 1. And then I believe that's a Vauxhall Magnum. For my time. So is the steering wheel. No, it's not. It's a Frenza. It shows you what I know. Told you it's before my time. Tiny little steering wheel though. Ooh. I sat in one of these at one of the shows. All the boys are like, what's the interest? What's the interest? I went, look at the car. It's insane. Go wing doors. A lot of them were automatic, I think. I don't know if there was a manual version, but... Full plate as well. Impala. Jeez, the size of the family is what you do. Like a bike wheel. And then this low uh, bend that we saw earlier. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, the roof up on this. You got the metal flake down on the bonnet. I like that, that's very cool. You see the roof on it? And a very, very low Thunderbird with crushed velvet seats and interior. That's a bit pimping, that, isn't it? Trying to get out with a big stick. Oh, joy. Wow, BMW 2002s. Oh, that's an unusual front of a BMW, okay. isn't it? That looks like it's been debumpered, to be fair. It's very unusual. Mm. Got like the waist version, though. Yeah, I like it. Mine was as well, but I changed it, didn't it? It's just always cold. Very nice GT40 over here. Looks quite original. Some uh, wheels. Nice 200 SX. Look at that.